A 517 and let's get over to Scott Steele and find out about what's going to happen today. Boy, yesterday it was the one thing after another really all day long, Scott. Absolutely right, Sue. As we started with some advisories letting people know things were turning bad just about 10 o'clock in the morning and it just got worse from there. All day long we had advisories, warnings, watches issued. In fact, even a tornado warning briefly issued in Kenosha County. No reports I can spot of any confirmation of a tornado, but what I can confirm is the heavy rain. I've just been tabulating rain uh, fall totals from all over the area and uh, Racine picking up two and a third inches of rain. Uh, Sheboygan up to the north, a little less, about an inch total there. Tosa, a little more than two inches, almost two and a half inches in Elm Grove and a uh, little better than two inches in the fall. So many locations picking up more than two inches and we're going to add to that this morning. Out of Illinois, coming northward, just like yesterday, we're seeing more patches of moisture and some shower activity extending into southeastern Wisconsin on Viper Radar HD. You can see though this is the back edge now just pushing into Dane County and uh, just to the west of Madison. Once this is by things should shut off very quickly, but until then we'll have to deal with some scattered showers and perhaps even hear a crack of thunder. Let me zoom you in using advanced Doppler 4 radar technology at the neighborhood level and you can see down to the south, primarily south of 94, although there are some scattered showers up to the north around Dodge County through Jefferson County, but primarily from Walworth through Racine and Kenosha counties into southern Milwaukee County. Some pretty decent downpours now from the city of Racine through Kenosha. So the wipers will likely be going from time to time. Here's a live look from our Waukesha Tower Cam number two. And while there's no rain there right now, uh, plenty of clouds, and those clouds are going to stick around for at least the first half of the day. Your weather headlines calling for a soggy start to this Tuesday. We'll do the Tuesday tumble in temperatures and a brief break in the action on the way for tomorrow. Outside right now, readings generally in the low to mid 60s. The issue is we're not going to go up from there. We're going to drop actually behind the cold front temperatures in the 40s. So we'll dip a bit down before we recover a little bit later on in the day. There's the back edge of the clouds and precipitation as high pressure builds in for tomorrow. So your storm team forecast for today. Early morning, patchy fog likely, especially near the lake. Showers, a few storms this morning as well. Otherwise, filtered sunshine late today, breezy and cooler up to 61. Tonight, partly cloudy and seasonal down to near 44 degrees. For tomorrow on our midweek Wednesday, a break in the action continues partly to mostly cloudy and cool highs near 57 and for tomorrow night we're all the way down to 40 degrees with more showers developing tomorrow night here's your storm team 10 day outlook and get ready for more rain in fact showers and some potentially heavier downpours on thursday with our highs caitlin only near 51 degrees we should be in the mid 60s this time of year we'll recover a bit for the weekend and dry out as well saturday and sunday all right looks good thanks scott and good morning everybody